Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I've got another cedar log going up on the mill. We're going to mill it up into one by sixes and kind of as you can see the sun's starting to pop up over the hills around us and really starting to brighten up our day and you know I got to tell you you'll, you'll see some interesting shots of the sun coming through the trees while we're milling away here. It's kind of cool. So we're going to get this log milled into one by sixes and while I do there's going to be a couple things that happened. I got to tell you there was a lot of stress in these cedar logs. And I guess that's pretty common for cedar. I don't actually mill that much cedar up. So it's always interesting to me when I get a cedar on the mill and I start milling it down and I run into stress in logs that quite frankly, if they were pine or fir, wouldn't have any stress hardly in them at all. <laughs> so I planned for it though, as I mentioned in a previous video, I, I had already seen that this cedar was, it was gonna move in ways that you couldn't predict and so even though I'm going to get to my cant height that I want so that I can split this into two six inch cants, it's going to move and I'm going to flip it up and split it again. Now, one thing I want to mention, it's very difficult to see in these videos just because of camera placement, but it's very important not to split the pith. The pith is the very center of the log. It's kind of almost like a little straw that the log or the tree draws water up from the ground and it's not actually wood it's more like bark than it is wood and it's weak so you really don't want to split it if you do it will cause problems in the lumber that it's placed in so it's always best to box it in we call that boxing in the heart and when i split this log that's one of the things that i'm always looking for is to make sure that once i get to my cat height I don't drop down, in this case I'm going to set it at 12 and an eighth of an inch and I'm going to drop down to 6 inches so that I'll just take the kerf out and have two 6 inch cans. But I have to make sure every time that when I do that, if the saw blade is going to enter into the pith right off the bat and split the pith, then I've got to make an adjustment. So you can't really see it in a lot of these videos just because of the cameras, they're just not close enough to show the pith. But that's something that we always need to try to do is make sure you don't split the pith. So right there, I went ahead and split the log into two six inch cants. I saw a bunch of movement and I don't want these boards to crown. I want them to face bend. So I went ahead after flipping it up because I had prepared for this and milled that original cant into 12 and an eighth by 12 and an eighth, I was able to go ahead and split it again. And right there, you probably saw the movement in the, in the log or in the cant where the end kind of shifted and that's because of how much stress there was in it. But it, it's okay because of the way I did this, because I split it two ways, I can watch the stress. And now I know that once I get these two cants on the deck, I can mill them into one by sixes and they'll have face bends instead of crowns. So that's what I'm doing. Let's get this thing milled up.
All right. So the last couple of cuts, I noticed that something was dragging the mill. And, you know, that can happen if you get bark or chunks of wood or something into the drive chain and the drive chain gear. So we just stopped and I got the head raised up, got everything cleaned out. And away we go. We get back to it. And, you know, <laughs> that's just part of milling. Notice all the sawdust all over the place, too. It's crazy. We must have made a few yards of sawdust on this job. But we got it milled up, got a bunch more one by six out of it. And then we've got that next little log, which we'll get up on the deck. And I'll show you that in the next video. So stick around. We'll have that one as well. And I got a few more things I'm going to show you coming up pretty soon. One of those is the magic hook so you're going to want to stick around for that but we've got more logs here to get milled up and i will bring that to you and once again thanks everybody for watching the video and if you like this video if you find it useful or helpful i'd really love it if you'd smash that like button for me thanks again for that and hey if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me it's free doesn't hurt anything y'all have a great day the old jarhead out